Hi, this is Pat with Pat's Two Cents. God bless you as you hear Jeanette. Let the light that's in us and the truth that's in us reach as many people that we can reach. Where it's about people I'm going to reach, you're not going to reach. Everybody else going to reach, you're not going to reach. We've all got our place where we're going to reach those that's in our zone, where we are. But I believe that God is going to bless us and reassure us in things that we're going to go through, trials and tribulations that we're going to have. And he's going to reassure us and love us like that said so much that it's just going to overflow to others that are hurting around you because people are hurting around. I was in Target on um, Christmas Eve and led two ladies to Christ in Target, then went to Rouse and led a lady to, to Christ in Rouse. And it was like the Holy Ghost was just all over me. I was just like, on fire. Just people just all around me hurting right. and in need. And when you and when that Holy Spirit is flowing through you, you 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 you're sensitive to people around you. And that, that boldness, that's why you said don't leave the upper room. Remember in Acts, don't leave the upper room until the Holy Spirit has come on you. When that Holy Spirit gets in us, that's that boldness that we have that Peter was talking about, the boldness to go out. And it just consumes you. And and and, I, and more now because we're getting so close to the return of Christ, it's overwhelming that urgency that I have. It's like an urgency to lead people to Christ. It's an urgency because things are happening so quickly, so quickly. People are checking out of here every day. Somebody is checking out that you know, or somebody you might know, or somebody's family, or something. And it's just an urgency. And like uh, Roshan was saying, casting up people that. Look, that, 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 uh, that was powerful too what she was saying about in the church she took a video of the people see the people's hearts where is our hearts as believers where is really our hearts our hearts are supposed to be for the people like Jesus when he was here because the things are winding down fast and we got to get as many in as we can while we have the opportunity and the chance That's right. and he's going to take care of our own like Lynette said he is going to reassure us every day and reassure he's going to show up. And I'm telling you that, oh, that was, that really ministered to me, that reassurance. That was just what I needed to hear. But I see him doing it already. So praise God for all, everybody, because God is working through every person with Pat Love's ministry. Uh, Pat, the people are really growing in the Lord and God is really using everybody on this. It's on this ministry with you. Amen. The Lord Amen. is moving through us. He's moving through us. The Holy Spirit. Yes. It's the Holy Ghost. Yes. And I hear you. We can't do nothing without that Holy Ghost. We need that Holy Ghost. Because he right. gives us that boldness. And, and we can hear, hear him mm-hmm. speak and lead it every day when I get up. Lead me today. Lead me every day. Yes. Lead me today. Amen. What to say, what to do, which way to go, what, what, what I'm supposed to do. Yep. Because I need direction. I need your guidance. And I tell you, he really... Oh, just that reassurance every every step of the way. Even though it's hard, even though it's challenging, even though, you know, it can be stressful, but he works it out there to comfort you with that reassurance. Yes. To comfort you that he's there, that he's He's awesome. He really is. So, 2022, it's a year of revival. Yes, yes. For each one of us individually, revival, revival. Mm -hmm. And then it's the body of Christ, revival. For those who are here, you have them here, let them hear. Mm-hmm. If everybody ain't going to hear, and everybody's not going to make the sacrifice, it takes a sacrifice right. to, 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 to live for Christ and serve God. Just like what you do, Pat, every Saturday. That's a sacrifice you have to, to do this, to put it, the ministry together. That's a sacrifice. Amen. It's going to take a sacrifice to live for Christ, but it's worth it because our rewards, oh, and not that we do it for rewards, but we do it because we love Jesus. Right. And like O'Shawn said, how many people have believers passed by and, and like the people in the church because the man was dirty he, how many unawares he might have passed over but the Holy Spirit will lead you he'll lead you to who, who you, you to, to minister to he'll speak to you say that one over there or he'll draw you to this person or whatever just like when I was in Target looking for a heater and these two ladies young ladies and we were talking about the heater one thing next to another and Jesus came into the conversation and the girls just started crying she just started crying just started playing. Right. <laughs> That's and the that conviction of the Holy Spirit. Yep. And, yeah. I, uh, we said he, and then I said something about Christ, and, and boy, they said she was just boo-hooing right there in Target. 
I said, oh, no. I said, oh, no. There's no way I'm going to leave these two people without necessarily leaving them with Christ. So. Amen. That's, that's, that's what we're supposed to be doing. Yes. Loving people and leading them to the Lord as many as we can. And, and every day, ask the Lord to lead us to somebody somewhere because there's somebody hurting out there. Amen. Thank and, he take care of, and he takes care of our issues. Why? Mm-hmm. Like I said, when we're busy doing his doing taking care of his business, no. he takes care of us. Exactly. That is the so true. Exactly. True. Exactly. Thank so you. So I just thank God for all of you. Yes. And, uh, it's just a blessing. Everything that was said so far has been just straight from the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. Amen.